In this micro nugget, we discuss some Microsoft operating system certifications. And I say OS certs as opposed to other types because there's other ones such as developer certifications, SQL certifications, and the like. But we're mostly focusing here on operating system, particularly Windows 7 and Windows 8 and Windows Server 2008 or 2012. We're taking a look here at a couple of certifications, the Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate and the Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert. Now, you might be looking at that and saying, hey, wait a minute, what year is this? Isn't this 2012 or something like that? And uh, I thought they had those a long, long time ago. We actually did, folks. I was digging through my old files today, and I found this old exam that I took. This is contributed to my MCSE, and look at the date on this thing. 1997. <laughs> this used to be one of the harder exams, the Implementing and Supporting Microsoft Windows NT 4.0 in the Enterprise. Look, I got a 980 on it. I was pretty excited about that. And uh, that probably meant I missed, I missed one question. Anyway, this contributed to the old MCSE, which used to be Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer. Uh, however, a lot of organizations uh, objected to the term engineer unless you were an actual electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, no, biochemical engineer, mad scientist, something like that. So instead, Microsoft has now gone to different acronyms, but uh, meanings of the acronyms, but they actually uh, it's pronounced the same way, MCSC and MCSA. Uh, when you pass one of the exams, this is also old, <laughs> you would get a certificate of excellence. I actually got a bunch of these, and it never said exactly what it was that I was a specialist in, but it called me a product specialist, and look at this. It was actually signed by Bill Gates himself. At least that's what I'd like to think. Yep. Bill Gates and I go back a long ways. I'm actually the one that told him years ago to tell people that 640K ought to be enough for anybody. <laughs> And here I'm just going to take you to Microsoft's website. And if you take a look at the URL up there, you can see it's pretty easy to get to. So you can just take note of that if you like and get there yourself if you want to. Uh, but it's pretty good for finding out what's behind all of these various certifications. We're really focusing on the MCSA and the MCSE here. But you can see there's other ones. And they go from the bottom to the top, meaning the most basic at the bottom, uh, to the expert level, and then to the master level. The master would be the Microsoft Certified Master and the Microsoft Certified Solutions master, which would be more based on uh, application development, certain types of development. But let's just start at the, the lowest level of this certification pyramid so we can get some comprehension of what's going on here. Uh, first of all, you could be a Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist. What does that mean? Well, that basically means you took a Microsoft exam. You really only need to take one of many different exams. I just kind of expanded the server level exams down here. This also goes back to 2008 exams, by the way. And you could take any one of these and you would then be certified as an MCTS, a technology specialist. And you can see that you can take it in many other disciplines here as well, Exchange, SQL, System Center, whatever else it is that you want to do. So basically, taking a single exam gets you a, at least at this level. Now, the other thing you could do would be, and I'm going to go up this direction for the time being, uh, we're not talking about the developer certification. That's a whole different kind of a track. But I will talk about the MCITP, or the IT professional. Uh, what is that? That's kind of the t Server 2008 and Windows Vista, Windows 7 track of certification that you would get that a lot of folks get got, you know, last year, uh, clear back to four years ago, back in 2008, and so on. And you can see here, for example, uh, there's different ways you can go, but if I wanted to get a Windows Server uh, Microsoft Certified IT Professional Enterprise Admin on Server 2008, I would have to take these four exams plus this exam or that one, although this one's retired. These are actually Vista exams, okay, so you can see why they're retired now. These are Windows 7 exams down here. So basically, you take one, two, three, four five uh, five exams. Uh, any one of these remaining three that are still blue that you can see here. But that's kind of the old technology. We're moving on to Windows 8 and Windows Server 2012. Okay, so we're going to be moving up. Now, on the current track of certification, what you'll probably want to do first is go to the MCSA, again, the Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate. Now, Microsoft actually has a pretty good graphic on, on a lot of these different ones if you were to click through any of these, and it shows you some of the certification paths. But instead, I'm going to show you my Visio diagrams that I created for the same purpose. Now, why am I using this instead of Microsoft's chart? They're little diagrams because I spent a lot of time on this, folks, and you're going to look at it, doggone it. This is the pinnacle of my Visio skills. Anyway, let's take a look at what tracks we can get to here. We're looking at the MCSA. There's several different ones. The MCSA for Server 2012, for 2008, 
and the MCSA for SQL Server 2012. This is all I'm going to cover here. I'm not going to go into any more detail on what you see over there. Uh, but for the MCSA, let's really start with the older one here, the Windows Server 2008 one. You would have to take these exams. Generally, with all of these tracks, you start with a lower numbered exam, like the 640 here, and you go sequentially up to higher and higher numbered exams. These generally will also be easy a little bit harder and a little bit harder. <laughs> and then you get your MCSA, Windows Server 2008. You can see they all cover different kinds of aspects of that various operating system, like this one just configuring Active Directory, network infrastructure, uh, full server administration. By the time you've taken all three of these, it adds up to the MCSA for 2008. Now, on the current track, we're looking at the MCSA for Windows Server 2012. Again, you'll start with the lower numbered exams. I just took the beta for the 410. It's actually the 71-410 when they're in beta. They always start with the 71. And that's the installing and configuring Windows Server 2012. I'm also currently recording materials for CBT Nuggets on this exam track. Uh, then we, once we pass that, we move up to the administering Windows Server 2012. Again, it's a little bit harder. And then configuring advanced Windows Server 2012 services, which as you can see, is a little bit more advanced. Once you've collected all three of these exams, uh, and then you now have your MCSA for Windows Server 2012. You might also be looking at this and say, James, I already put a lot of work into getting to my MCSA's Windows Server 2008. But if I want to get to Windows Server 2012 of an MCSA, now what? Do I have to take all three of these exams to get there? No, you don't. You all, all you have to do really is to upgrade. Uh, in this case, you already have your MCSA Windows Server 2008. And then all you need to do now is to take one exam, the 70-417 upgrading to MCSA Windows Server 2012. Now, don't be deceived. This is one exam, but it encompasses content from all of these. So you have to have been studied enough to pass all of these before you take this exam. Once you do and take it and pass it, then it converts you more or less from an MCSA Windows Server 2008 to a 2012. And then just for your reference, here's the SQL track over here. There is a SQL of the MCSA, uh, and I'm not going to elaborate too much on that, but you can see that there's several exams you need to take to get that track as well. So now you've got your MCSA, but you want to move up to a higher level of certification. Uh, for most IT professionals, this is going to be really a good one to go for, the MCSE. All right. Uh, now, if you've already got your MCSA because you passed all three of those previous exams that we looked at, over here on this previous whiteboard, you've already gone through this whole path, or you've already gone through this whole path, then now you have your MCSA on Windows Server 2012, and then you'd have to take two more exams, the 415 and the 416, for implementing a desktop infrastructure and the desktop application environments. Then once you've taken those two, now you have your MCSE desktop infrastructure. Or if you're an upgrade candidate, maybe you're, for example, you're already an MCIT professional enterprise desktop administrator, then you could, and this is the only one you can have to upgrade from, then you could take this exam, which we looked at on the previous whiteboard as well, and that would also get you to the MCSA level. And then again, also you take those two exams to get to your MCSE. Now, there's actually four MCSEs that you can get. One of them is SQL, and I'm covering the other three. I just covered the desktop one. Here we're going to talk about the MCSE Private Cloud. The big push in everything right now is Hyper-V, or virtualization. If you're not familiar with that, that's where you can uh, use a single host operating system, like Windows Server 2012, on a single piece of physical hardware, and you can put guest operating systems in it, many, many dozens maybe, or even hundreds in some cases, of operating systems on that single physical hardware in virtual machines. That's what this is all about. So you start with your MCSA, MCSA, which you've already earned at this point, and then you have to take two more exams, the 247 and 246. These both have to do with working with a private cloud with System Center 2012. Okay, the first one here is configuring System Center 2012, and the second one here is operating a private cloud. Okay, so that's what you have to do. You take two more exams and you get the MCSE private cloud. And I would expect these exams to be pretty challenging. Again, hopefully our CBT Nuggets training will help you on your way with this, like they've done for thousands of people on previous operating systems. Finally, then, you could get another MCSC with a little bit of a different emphasis. This one would be server infrastructure. With this one, again, you start with your MCSA, OK? 
Okay, and then you take two more exams, the 413, designing and implementing a server infrastructure. This would focus on Windows Server 2012 and, and implementing an advanced server infrastructure. Again, 2012 uh, is what this would emphasize. This will be other technologies within 2012, such as certification authorities, a little bit of your Active Directory infrastructure, a lot of these types of things. The designing would be, uh, a lot of times that's going to focus more on you have multiple sites or you have clustering that you want to implement. And how are you going to strategize this? How many servers are you going to need? Uh, how are you going to balance the load? That sort of thing. Uh, and then this would just be implementing it in a practical sense. Well, I know this was a bit long for micro nugget, which we usually try to keep within four to six minutes, uh, but there's a lot of detail in these exams and these certifications, so I wanted to make sure I covered that with you. My name is James Conrad. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.